Best coffee machines. Hi, it's Chris here with selfmadenewy.com. In this video, we're gonna go through the best coffee machines currently out there today. Now, I've tried to keep this list as comprehensive as possible. I've narrowed it down from about 10 to 12 to my top five, so no matter what you're looking for, there should be something in this list for you. You can also confirm in the description what those recommendations are. So before we jump in, drop a like, subscribe, and turn on that bell if you wanna be updated with new videos. All right, so I'm gonna skip any of the fluff talk and just jump right in to my recommendations, starting off with my recommendation. I'm not gonna save the best to last. I'm just gonna kick it off with my favorite overall, and this is the Breville Precision Brewer. So this drip coffee maker lives up to its name as a precision brewer by brewing coffee at exactly the right temperature with the right amount of time uh, established by the Specialty Coffee Association. So it can make 12 cups of coffee in about eight to nine minutes and is very quick compared to others on this list. Uh, so it's highly customizable with the option to brew up to 12 cups at a time, uh, a single cup, iced coffee, cold brew, pour over, uh, if you wanna purchase the attachment for that. It also comes with two different shaped baskets, a cone and a flat basket that allows you to pick. Uh, what you think makes a better cup of coffee. So the basket fully pours out for easy filling and easy emptying and the water reservoir has a wide opening and it's very easy. Uh, it has easy to read measurings as well. So the pros here, highly customizable, includes both cone and flat bottom filter baskets. It's a very cool, sleek design, uh, but the cons are the carafe, requires hand washing. And for those uh, big coffee snobs out there, you will love that the water flow and bloom time can be adjusted as well. So this display features a count up timer that lets you know how long the coffee has been keeping warm. And this is also relatively easy to clean as well um, with a moderately sized opening that you can fit a sponge into or a brush pretty easily. The next one on my list is my best uh, value, so best budget, and this is the Black & Decker 12 cup programmable coffee maker. This was another top performer uh, because of its brew time and temperature, but it's also really low priced as well, so I had to put it on this list uh, if you're looking for a budget option. It's programmable, it brews up to 12 cups of hot coffee, and it keeps warm for an entire two hour period as well. So very, fairly simple compared to other makers on this list, uh, but also that makes it very user friendly. It also has a small footprint at a little over 10 inches wide and 12 inches long, digital display, and a 24 hour auto brew feature so you can wake up uh, to hot coffee as well with that setting. Uh, it also features a sneaker cup feature which allows you to quickly snag the first cup and what that does is temporarily stops the flow of brewing coffee so you can pour some from the pot without making a mess. So the pros of this, even though it's simple, it does make it user friendly, keeps the coffee warm for a decent amount of time, around about two hours, uh, and the cons are uh, it didn't brew really at high enough temperatures. Um, but for a budget option, definitely my top pick. The next one on my list is my recommendation for the best small size or compact coffee maker, and this is the Capresso 5 Cup Mini Drip Coffee Maker. So if you're looking only to serve one or two people or you don't have a ton of counter space, uh, this is a great option for you, an excellent small mini coffee maker. It can brew up to five cups in less than 10 minutes. It's programmable. It keeps coffee warm for two hours and has an automatic shut off so you never have to worry about if it's turned off or not. Now, small coffee makers typically have a hard time reaching really high temperatures and this did as well, but that's really to be expected, uh, but it didn't really take away from the experience. Uh, the Karaif is dishwasher safe and the flip top lid is detachable as well for easy cleaning. So the pros with this one really, just the compactness of it all makes it a great option if you, you know, have a small counter space. It's very easy to use and very easy to clean. And the two hour uh, keeping warm period and the automatic shut off were also some great surprising features. Um, but the cons are it does not brew as hot as other coffee makers on this list, but that's pretty normal. You should really expect that from a small coffee maker. Uh, so given that uh, it is a small coffee maker, uh, this is my best or my favorite one. Now, the next one on the list is for people who don't really care about brewing temperature. And this is my recommendation for the best iced coffee maker. And this is the Ninja Specialty 10 Cup Coffee Maker. 
Uh, so if you like drip coffee, but you want iced coffee in the summer, or you just prefer your coffee iced, this allows you to really have it all. It has four strength setting settings, including classic rich over ice or specialty concentrated, uh, which mimics the taste of espresso. So you can uh, make the exact time type of drink you want. It also comes with built-in milk frother that folds away for storage so you can froth already heated or cold milk. Uh, it also can brew several different sizes as well, including a full 10 cup carafe, uh, half a carafe, or a single serving directly into the cup. It's pretty fast as far as the brew time goes, uh, and it was easy to use with helpful features like a coffee scoop um, that stores on one side of the unit. It has a removable water reservoir um, that you can bring over uh, to the sink and easily uh, wash, and an easy to read control panel uh, and shelf for brewing into cups and preventing any spillage. So pros here, makes iced coffee concentrate, that's awesome. Also makes a four ounce concentrated size uh, for espresso style drinks like a cappuccino or a latte. Cons are uh, the classic brew was only mild bodied. But overall, if uh, cold coffee is your thing, this is still uh, my best uh, recommendation. Now the next one on my list is my recommendation for the best coffee maker with a grinder. Uh, and this is the Breville, second Breville on the list. Breville Grind Control Coffee Maker. Uh, so coffee makers with built-in grinders don't have the best reputation. Uh, they're known to clog and require a little bit more maintenance uh, than a typical coffee maker. But uh, I can understand why people buy them. They do deliver a fresh and consistent cup of coffee with very little effort. And this Breville uh, in particular uh, with the built-in grinder stands out really for having multiple grind settings uh, that are gonna impact the strength of your coffee. It also has a digital display that measures the amount of water you add to the reservoir, which is located on the front of the unit, and that makes the whole process really super simple. It also allows you to choose from one of eight strength settings and then it calculates the time of brewing. So the coffee will brew very hot and it will stay warm uh, for around about two hours, uh, which is normal. Uh, and this coffee maker scores really highest uh, in the taste test as well. So when c compared to uh, other options, probably because of that grinder, um, you are gonna get a lot richer taste. It also allows you to make even more coffee, even if your carafe still has coffee in it. So the pros here, very highly customizable. Uh, it makes hot coffee that stays hot, actually beyond two hours. Uh, and the cons are though, that the basket holder needs to be rinsed after every use, but really, you should really expect that, right? And you should really wanna maintain uh, a bit of hygiene uh, with your coffee maker. All right, guys, so those are my top five. So whether you're looking for something small, whether you're looking for something with a grinder, whether you're looking for cold, hot, whatever, hopefully there's something in this list for you. If you do have any questions, drop them in the comments. And if you found value in this video, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Also, again, my recommendations in the description there. Take care.